Advent Week 1, Unexpected. Jesus' birth story included a ridiculous assemblage of people. Educated priests and blue-collar workers, women past childbearing age and girls not yet married, foreign-born travelers and homegrown night shift workers. God is not reserved for a certain kind of person. He makes that clear by including all types in his son's birth. It starts in Luke with the kind of good people we would expect for Jesus' story to include, Zechariah the priest and his wife Elizabeth. In first century Palestine, however, these righteous people were not as perfect as they first appeared. The fact that they were childless meant that the people around them would have considered them cursed, not blessed. There's more to the story with Zechariah, the priest, as well. Instead of uninterrupted faith, Zechariah shows plenty of doubt, even going so far as to question an angel, which cost him his voice. Contrast this with Mary, the unmarried virgin, who receives an angelic message of a pregnancy sure to start tongues wagging. Yet Mary's response is simple faith. Joseph, the working class carpenter, is about to raise an unplanned stepson. Politicians and presidents do not herald the birth of Jesus, but rather smelly shepherds working the night shift. It takes years before anyone of worldly significance arrives. Jesus' lineage further reveals the diversity of his family and friends. There's Jacob the deceiver, Tamar the tragic, Rahab the prostitute, and Ruth the foreign-born follower. Jesus' lineage includes those we know almost nothing about, like Ram, Animnadab, Azor, and Mathen, men who live their lives with nothing special to report. It includes King David and Solomon, David's son from an adulterous affair. The Christmas story is the first time Jesus models his second greatest commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. If each of these people was important enough to be included in the arrival of God to earth, surely every neighbor is important enough to be welcomed as a friend. From the beginning, Jesus made room for those who didn't look like him, smell like him, or come from the same tribe as he did. God announced Christ's birth to the whole earth, but he didn't do it on a loudspeaker. He chose individuals from unique stations to spread the good news, and the world has not been the same since. The story of Jesus' advent invites us to consider new ways we might enter into the lives of the people around us. The details of his birth open us to the possibility that every person has a place in the kingdom of God. The ways Jesus crossed boundaries of status, class, and tribe pave the way for us to cross those boundaries today.